Okay, number four, now we're gonna go from rectangular into polar. For number four, they're gonna ask you to solve for R. So this one will not be a uh, multiple choice. Uh, number three will because that's asking you to go into rectangular and there's different ways that you could express your answer rectangular, but when we take it over into polar, uh, solving for R will be more straightforward. That's why th there won't be multiple choice on this one. So we wanna convert this over into polar. Now again, you're using the same conversion formulas uh, we've talked about before, number three. Anytime you see an X, you wanna replace it with R cosine theta the y gets replaced with r sine theta, so that's gonna be our first step here. We wanna get rid of the x's and y's and have r's and thetas instead. Uh, so instead of the x, we're gonna put in r cosine theta, but that has to be squared because there's a square there originally. Equals six, and then instead of the, the y, we'll replace it with r sine theta. Uh, now the next thing we have to do is we need to solve for r. So we're gonna square this one, so we get r squared cosine squared. Remember, both things inside need to be squared. And then we have, the rest of it is the same. Okay, now, uh, although if you divide both sides by r, you're gonna get the correct answer, that's not the correct thing to do mathematically. If you divide both sides by r, it's like saying you may be possibly dividing by a zero, which is undefined. So the correct way of doing this is going to be this step here. So do not divide both sides by r. If you do divide both sides by r, I'm going to take a point off because that's not mathematically correct. Instead, you want to subtract it and get it equal to zero. This is the correct way of doing it. So subtract it over, get it equal to zero, and then Factor out the common factor, which is an r. You'll get r cosine squared theta minus six sine theta left over. When you set both of them equal to zero, yes, you will get r equals zero, but we're not gonna include that as one of the solutions. The other way is, the other answer we'll get is by taking r cosine theta minus six sine theta, and we'll set that one equal to zero. You wanna get r by itself, so we're going to uh, take this term and add it over to the other side. So we're going to do r cosine squared theta is going to equal 6 sine theta. Then we want to divide both sides by cosine squared and we'll get 6 sine theta divided by cosine squared. Now it's okay to leave your answer just like this. Now you could use identities to, uh, to further simplify that and I did put that as an alternative answer in the key but it's not necessary for you to use identities for this. Um, this is, it's fine to leave your answer in terms of sines and cosines. This would be considered polar because we just have r's and thetas left over. We've gotten rid of the, the x and the y.